Hi, this is Walter Weesey with Yellowstone Country Fly Fishing and Parks Fly Shop with my weekly fly tying video for April 15th, 2020. And uh, obviously I'm doing something a little different here this week. If you re recall my video last week, I tied the uh, fly right here, the Gray CDC Emerging Dunn. And if you, I used a tool that really didn't work all that well, and I don't know if I used it correctly, and got to thinking afterwards, you know, I can create something here that... Uh, allows me to gather a bunch of CDC barbs uh, more easily. And what I figured out was kind of similar to what some other guys have done, uh, where you cut a slot in foam. And you can see that here. Um, but this is a very different foam. I've mostly seen people do that with, you know, thick packing foam, the sort of things that you, your TV would come packed in, or something like a magic eraser, you know, like cleaning foam. Uh, where you cut a slot in it and essentially leave, you know, you have a, a piece of foam like this big, say, for example, and then you cut a bunch of slots in it to whatever length you want, and you just push the feather down into it and fold it that way. But what I discovered here was that when I use this thinner craft foam, this is six millimeter craft foam, that if I cut most of the way through that with a uh, double-edged razor blade here, you know, very carefully cut that slot, I get like sort of a hinge and so it's not very easy to do when I'm uh, sitting here with a camera between me and the and my hands but what I can actually do then is take that um, CDC feather and you know it's gonna have a natural curvature like that and I want the uh, sort of natural curve to be facing you know I want those feathers to be naturally wanting to go the direction I want them to go but I'm going to take those those fibers and kind of preen them, maybe strip off some of the garbage here from the back, but sort of preen them so they're they're coming out straight or so from the uh, the feather there. And I'm going to grab my piece of foam here that I cut, and just kind of slide that right down into that slot. And then just kind of let that fold close like that. And there you see I have a bunch of CDC barbs um, caught on one, you know, it's, it's folded. And so I can come in here then with my gator clip, or binder clip, I should say, and just release that. And you see I have all those CDC feathers or barbs, um, caught on one side of the hook there, or one side of the feather. And so what I can do is just cut off the kind of wasted tip of that feather cut off that end of the, the feather now what I could do there with those those fibers I've cut off is insert those into a dubbing loop um, if I wanted to make kind of a CDC hackle uh, or in my case what I just want to do is just gather those up and uh, make a wing with them and that's a little bit harder actually than it could be but I got most of those fibers there. And I could have done that with two feathers at once, um, but that's that's a much easier way of getting those fibers. Uh, or, you know, like I said, a hackle, uh, creating a, a dubbing loop kind of CDC hackle uh, than that goofy tool I used last week. And of course it costs about four cents probably, that amount of foam I had. And so um, if you're looking to experiment with folding CDC, that's going to be a much cheaper way of doing it than buying one of the ex various expensive tools out there. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next week.